You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. What's going on, Strand Team family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strand Team family, welcome to the Strand Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you gotta do is put them at the bottom and I promise you we're gonna make that video happen. Listen, the world is in a mess. I know a lot of people out there are stressing for many different reasons. Maybe it's your health, maybe it's toilet paper, maybe it's food, it's all kinds of crazy things. What we're focusing on today is it's gonna be not losing your gains. That's a huge deal to people that is as serious as I am. Like I know you've been busting your butt for maybe months, maybe years, maybe even decades, and you're afraid that you're gonna lose your gains. So I had a lot of people request, let's go ahead and make some home workouts. Now I'm blessed to have a full gym at the house and I pretty much have every piece of equipment that I need to keep on maintaining my gains and honestly to even get even new gains. So I know a lot of people may have home gyms out there, but unfortunately a lot of people don't. So I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I'm working out with regular equipment and also how you can still train and I'm gonna have a, a, a different exercise for every single exercise that I'm gonna do for the people that maybe only have a set of resistance bands or maybe just an easy curl bar or a barbell or something like that. So listen, quit stressing about that. I promise you I'm not gonna let you lose your gains. So what we have today is we have a killer workout. We're gonna focus on our back. We're gonna focus on our traps and we're gonna focus on our biceps. That is way too much talking. So let's jump straight into this killer home workout. Now, first exercise, we have the pull-ups. We're gonna do four sets for eight to 10 reps. There are so many different ways that you can do a pull-up if you do not have a pull-up station or a pull-up bar. You can do them in your house. You can do them on any type of steps or stairs. You can do them on a tree. Anything that's gonna support your weight. Listen, now it's time for you to get creative. Either way it goes, I want you to do four sets for eight to 10 reps. Now there's gonna be a lot of people out there that cannot do eight to 10 reps. So what I want you to do is, just like Josh is showing you in the video, go ahead and get you a chair or something that is stable that can go ahead and hold your weight. Now I want you to use your legs to assist you to pull up. That way it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. But at the same time, don't cheat and just stand up because that way you're not even gonna get your back involved. And over time, when you're doing it like this, your back is gonna get stronger, so you're gonna use less and less of your legs and eventually you will be able to do a full pull up with your entire body weight. Now for everybody that thinks eight to 10 reps with their body weight is easy, go ahead and do what me and Josh did and go ahead and find some way, maybe a backpack or if you got like a, a weighted belt, anything that you can do to add more weight and more, and more resistance, go ahead and do that. So you can find a challenging weight that's gonna challenge you to get eight to 10 reps. We're only gonna rest for one to two minutes. Now after finish with that, we have the barbell rows. We're gonna do four sets and I want you to stay between eight to 10 reps. I think the weight that me and Josh used was 225 pounds, then 245 pounds, and we worked all the way up to 275 pounds. I know a lot of y'all are not gonna have a barbell, so if you don't, you can do what I did. Get in a position where you can have like a bar or a pole, maybe use your broom, just get very creative, guys but at the same time, be safe. And I want you to do the inverted rows. You're gonna do two sets with your palms facing the ground, and then you're gonna do two sets with your palms facing straight up. This right here is a great substitute for the barbell rows. When you're doing the inverted rows, I want you to do like 10 to 15 reps. If you got like a resistance band, you can add the resistance band. If you have like a backpack, put the backpack on you, fill it up with water bottles, maybe fill it up with like your books or anything like that that's gonna make it heavier. The heavier that you you're going to go, it's going to make it harder and it's going to make it easier for you to build muscle. Now, if you really want to make this even more challenging, make sure you are elevating your feet off the ground so you are pulling more of your upper body. I'm telling you guys, this exercise right here is killer. Now, after we finish with that, we have the dumbbell incline rows. We're going to do four sets and again, we're going to stay between eight to 10 reps. I only have 60 pound dumbbells at my house, but honestly, that was the perfect amount of weight for me and Josh. As you can see, our reps are clean. We're not jerking the weight. We're getting a full stretch. And also when we pull back, we are squeezing our back. We're gonna do the exact same thing for the people that maybe only have a resistance bands. So like you see in the video, go ahead and put your resistance band, maybe somewhere on a dumbbell, anything that's just gonna be stable. As you can see, I just put it around my power rack. There's a million ways to do it. You just gotta start thinking outside the box. But like you're 
finished in the video, get you a chair. Now you're gonna have resistance bands. Actually, the one resistance band alone was too easy. So what I did is I just had two resistance bands. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust the distance. What I mean by that, you may be too close and you don't really feel like you're getting a lot of the tension. So go ahead and maybe step back one or two feet. The further you are away from whatever you have the resistance band tied to, of course, it's gonna equal more tension and it's gonna make it more challenging. Now, since you're doing the resistance bands, I want you to get some reps in. So I want you to do like 15 to 20 reps. But like you're seeing the video, I want you to squeeze when you're at the back and then get that full stretch every single rep. Again, we're only going to rest for one to two minutes. Now I have to finish with that, just to get that Christmas tree in the lower back, we're going to do the barbell rack pulls. We're going to do four sets. We're going to stay between eight to 10 reps. Me and Josh worked all the way up to 365 pounds. And honestly, that was challenging enough. We probably could have went a little bit heavier, but we have legs tomorrow. So I never like to just absolutely just kill my lower back the day before legs because then my legs suffer. And for everyone that don't have a barbell, what you can do is the chest down back extensions. Guys, this right here is a phenomenal exercise. And it's going to tax your lower back something serious. Honestly, like I was telling Josh, I feel this almost just as much as doing the rack pulls. It is that serious. Now, if you have maybe like your wife's there, your kid, your son, somebody that's in the household with you, go ahead and have them to like put some resistance on like your ankles or around your uh, leg calf area. That way you can really extend all the way up. And I want you to do like 10 to 15 good reps. And like you see, when I'm doing them, I'm gonna stand up and I'm squeezing my back for at least one second. With this, we're gonna rest between one to two minutes. Now after finish with that, you know we gotta go ahead and pump up these traps. So we have the barbell shrugs. We're gonna do four sets and I want you to do 15 reps. We just kept it with 225 pounds and we just focus on good quality reps. Now if you don't have a barbell, again, you can do the resistance bands or you can just use like some plates. Everybody has like a plate, maybe a center block. Anything that's gonna give you some resistance, guys, it's time to start thinking outside the box while we're in this situation. I promise you, this way you're not going to lose no gains. I want you to do four sets and you're gonna do 25 to 50 reps. If you're doing the resistance band, like you're seeing the video, make sure you're spreading your feet all the way out. The further that you spread your feet out, the more resistance you're going to have on that resistance bands. If you don't have the resistance bands, again, you can use center blocks. You can use water bottles. You can use anything that's going to have some resistance to us, guys. And maybe if you have like a wheelbarrow, go ahead and load some weights or some blocks or maybe even some rocks into that wheelbarrow and get to working. Now it's time for these biceps. So our first exercise, we have the Easy Curl Bar Killer 21. We have four total sets, guys, and it's seven by seven by seven. You already know how it is. You're going to do seven partial reps at the bottom, then seven partial reps halfway all the way to the top, and then you're going to do seven full range of motion reps. This right here is a killer, and you got it for four sets. By the time you get through maybe two sets, your biceps are going to be screaming. Now, if you don't have a easy curl bar, listen, you can just use maybe just a regular plate. Like um, Josh is showing you right now, he had a 25 pound plate and he's doing the exact same thing. Or just like I'm showing you right now, you can do it with the resistance bands. Either way it goes, I promise you guys, you're gonna make some killer gains. And we're only gonna rest for one minute after every single set of these biceps. Now, after we finish with that, our last and final exercise, we have the dumbbell sideways hammer curls. We got four sets for eight to 10 reps. My first two sets, I use 60 pounds. Then my third and my fourth, I use 35 pounds. Guys, this right here is one of my favorite exercises now for the biceps. I really feel like I can just move a lot of weight and still squeeze at the top and get that deep stretch when the heavy weight is just pulling my biceps down while I'm still controlling it. Now, I know a lot of y'all may not have like a, a weight that's challenging enough for you, so go ahead and use like a plate. You can use like a center block, you can use a resistance band, or you can do what I did and just slow it all the way down and use some laundry detergent. I'm trying to show you guys, listen, it's a million ways to do it. You just gotta get creative. We're not gonna lose no gains. Listen to me, we're not gonna lose no gains. Say it with me. We are not going to lose no gains. We're going to stay disciplined. We're going to stay focused. We're going to train a whole lot smarter because it's going to start getting harder and harder. See, I'm midway through my prep and it's so hard for me to get my groceries, but I did not let that stop me. So 
in the next day or so, or maybe this weekend, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full update and show you how I adjusted everything. I actually substituted in turkey because nobody likes to eat ground turkey and it's in all the grocery stores. Everybody loves chicken breast, so you can't find chicken breast anywhere. And if you can, the stores are only allowing you to get one to two packs, and that's only going to be enough for like one day. So I literally have to go to the grocery store one to two times a day just to get, it's just, it's, it's hectic right now. But listen, do not get discouraged. I know everybody's stressed out. Listen, now's the time to look out for your neighbors. Now's the time to look out for everybody in your neighborhood. Maybe you have a old lady on the street. Try to get her number. She may need you to go to the store for her or your next door neighbor or your, your auntie. Now is time to not be selfish. All of that greediness, it is just unnecessary. This is, we should be so united right now and come together as an actual country, like Trump be saying, make America great again. Now is the time for us all to do that. So you do your part, I'm gonna do my part. If everybody does that, I promise you, we're gonna beat this and look back on this in like 10 years and just be like, that was crazy, but we're gonna make it through. I'm gonna have a video for you every single day. It'll probably be a day behind, but after like a week's time, you'll have all these videos and we're just gonna keep this rolling. That way you can keep them gains. You're going to keep them games. But like I tell you in every single video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them games. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream.